Hello and welcome back to my YouTube if you are new here. My name is Sarah Caddison, I'm an online coach, PT, and I also make YouTubes about food, fitness, lifestyle, and all that good stuff. So if you are new here, thank you very, very much. I would greatly, greatly appreciate a like and subscribe to my channel, it would mean the absolute world to me. And if you are coming back to my YouTube from old YouTubes, then thank you very, very much. I've been horrendous at YouTube horrendous I'm also completely bunged up um, and I'm not very well so I apologize for the voice and also for the nasals throughout this video this video let's recap let's 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 roll it back in for a second I have not posted YouTube in a very very long time um and I do speak about that later on in the video but I do apologize about not posting a YouTube for a very long time I don't want to say that I've been busy and you know because I mean a lot of YouTubers are very very busy um but my main job which is my coaching my online coaching my PT has been extremely busy I've been launching a lot of things with my app I've been launching new things within my app my eight week challenges and then I also went on holiday so you know I was gonna YouTube my holiday but I just said that I hadn't been away properly away from work and to take time off work for a while and I really only do that once a year so I just wanted to completely zone out and I got engaged I got engaged since the last time you guys saw me so when I was on holiday that happened so it's been very exciting there's been a lot of incredible things that have happened I also did the Goggins challenge which again I'm raging I didn't YouTube all of that but I just didn't. I didn't YouTube through all of the amazing things that have just happened. Um, but we're back, we're back, we're back with YouTube. Um, so this YouTube is gonna be a very good one. Now, I'll be honest, I'll be honest. I've already edited this YouTube. I'm coming in to give you an intro because I didn't do an intro before I made the YouTube. My YouTubes are gonna be like that. They're gonna be in and out, up and down, all about. Um, so come with me to London. And also, there's a bit of an interlude throughout this video where I think, well, I, I not, not that I think, I just got my period and I was due my period a couple of days ago when I made this video. Um, and I think my emotions just completely got the better of me. Um, so we have some honest emotional chats. And do you know what? I was going to take it out, but I'm not. Because when I talk about it, it's all about my skin and I just think a lot of you ladies might resonate with it and that's what I want my page, my YouTube, everything to be about, that it's just honest, how I'm feeling at that moment in time um, and if it helps or resonate with someone then potentially I've helped one person, that's what I always go by, whether it's my coaching, my Instagram, anything I put online, I'm like, if it helps one person then I'm gonna leave it there, so I'm gonna leave that segment in. Um, but yes, this YouTube is a very, very exciting one. If you guys have followed me for a very long time on Instagram, you'll know that I am absolutely obsessed with Honor Active. And this year, I mean, I've been wearing them for about three, four years. Um, and this year I was asked to work with them, which was just, I don't work with brands. I, I really don't work with brands. Um, my coaching is my job, my business. I, I'm not an influencer as much as that's an incredible job. For some people, it's not my job. Um, but to work with them was just something that's a lot more to me than, than just working with a brand for clothing. Um, so I went to my first event with them. So this video is taking you through coming to London with us. Me and Anto went to London a day before, just to have a little bit of like a day, touristy day, because I was going anyway. So I said, we may as well go and do a touristy day before and then come with me on the whole event. But before we go to that event, I have a couple of bits um, that I wanna show you, a little bit of a haul. So the reason I went to this event was because they are launching the new Raw Lounge collection. And there's loads of new pieces for the Raw Lounge collection, but there's also some pieces like this that is existing sportswear that they have. So this is the everyday cross back bra. Um, but they have launched new colorways in aqua blue, which is what I wore to the event. And then this is the charged orange. So I have a couple of bits that 
I'm gonna go through. Guys, I'm very sorry about how snotty I sound. It's not the best. Um, but this is the charged orange sports bra. The cross back sports bra, everyday cross back. Um, you guys know I get a medium, but this is actually in a small. I actually, it's fine. It's fine in a small. I actually have it tucked under to make it a little bit shorter. I don't know why I do that. I feel more comfortable when I do that. Um, but it does come down a little bit longer. But I actually just tuck it under. So whatever way you want to wear it. So, talking about my mother, if she sees these, she's going I'm gonna get a phone call. I know I'm gonna get a phone call. But listen, guys, I'm just gonna be honest, right? I don't iron my clothes. And if you iron your clothes, fair juice to you, fair juice to you. Unless I'm going on like a night out and I have a dress and I need to iron it, fine. See me ironing clothes day to day? Absolutely not. These are the raw, <laughs> okay, I haven't ironed them. And it's because I actually wore these back. So, Today's Tuesday um, and I wore them, so I went to London on the weekend for the event and I wore them back in the airport. And I don't know about you guys, maybe this is, maybe I'm weird for saying this, but I, once I get off the plane, like everything I'm wearing head to toe has to go in the wash. I, I'm very weird like that. I just, I don't know. I think it's because like, there's like 200 people on a plane, if not more. Um, and I just, all those clothes, I feel like I need to have a shower, a quick shower. I'm just like, uh. Um, so they were not dirty when I got off the plane, but I just needed to throw them in the wash. So they're just off the line. Um, so they're creased. I do apologize that they're creased. So these are the raw lounge tracksuit bottoms. Um, this is in shade Minky. Yes, I am well aware that they are creased, but you know what? They're not too bad. Um, so I get a size large for all my tracksuit bottoms because I like them very baggy. I do not want tracksuit bottoms stuck to me. So this is them. Now, after washing them, they've come up a little bit. Um, so this is in shade Minky. They have the drawstring. They are nice and loose. But as I said, I do get a large because I want them nice and baggy, but you can just pull them in and it means that they're still nice and loose around the leg. Now, obviously these are the shorts, but it's the same as the leggings. Um, as I mentioned, that they're quite long. If they're too long on you, I actually saw one of the lovely athletes from Honor at the event, and she actually cut hers. Because it's the raw collection, they're meant to kind of roll anyway. She cut hers and it was absolutely fine because they just roll at the hem anyway. So if they are too long, you could do that. I'm not saying that you should. Um, but I do get long length, so you can get a shorter length in them. Okay, so this is one that I haven't opened yet. Lay. So this is the charged orange again. This is the go-to seamless fitted cropped t-shirt in a small. So I do like my bras in a medium, but I like my tops in a small. Mm, you work that one out, because I don't even know. But I just, yeah, I, like my, I don't like my bras tight, but I like my tops tight. I don't know, I don't know why. I really, really like this top. So again, this is in a small, so it is cropped. That's probably, if I really pull it down, that's where it would come down to. Um, I would probably just wear it kind of same length as like the sports bra. Um, it is see-through-ish. I think I would wear a bra underneath it, being honest. I have one, yeah, it is see-through. Um, if you want to free the nip, free the nip. I absolutely love this color. I just think the minky and the orange just go stunning together. Then next we have the go-to muscle crump, crump, cropped tank in a small. So this is it here. She is beautiful and she's in off-white. Off-white is one of the new colors and I love it. I love it. I'm, white kind of makes me scream because I know I'll get it dirty. I know I'll get it dirty. I mean, I'll still get this dirty, but off-white just kind of like I feel like if you did get it dirty, it's no big deal. Whereas if you get white dirty, it's like, she can't eat her food without dropping it. So this is the cropped muscle tank in off-white. So I have it in a small um, and it is nice and long at the arms. It kind of droops down and opens up a good bit at the arms um, and it is nice and baggy. But personally, I would probably wear it like that um 
I know you might be like, geez, does she just always get her midriff out? But I, I probably would style it like that um, rather than baggy, but it's completely whatever way you want to style it. The next piece I got is this oversized tee. I'll actually show you the back of it first. Is this here. So it says lift heavy, lift with purpose. So that was kind of the whole purpose of the event was lift with purpose. Um, for this collection that we went to. I do actually show this later on in the video again, um, but I don't think I tried it on. So this is in a small, but it's super oversized. So being honest, I in winter, I wear these to the gym, but during summer, I don't. I just wear these lounging around the house. I just love them. I love them in the evening, throwing these on and just chilling out. That's how I wear them, but um. I love them in winter, especially when you're bloated and you have your period like I do now. It is nice to throw it on. Um, but I just love this. I love this kind of raw, rustic logo that they have. Next, we have the oversized zippy hoodie. So I have this in a size medium and this is color charged orange. Again, she's kind of crinkled because I've literally worn this every single day since I've got it. I am obsessed with this one. Um, so it has the drawstring here and then it does have the ribbed material at the bottom here but I personally took it up so it's like kind of like a slouched vibe and it has that kangaroo pocket at the front I love it it also has a nice big hood so it's a nice hood I hate hoods that are really small and, and you can't actually even get it over your head it's super nice and soft on the inside I absolutely love this one. So it is oversized, but I have it in a medium and I quite like it in a medium. I don't think I'd get it in a small because if I'm wearing a hoodie or a zippy, I'm wearing it because I want to be cozy or I'm cold. Okay, and then I have a few other little pieces in here. I don't think they're clothes, they're not, they're not clothing pieces. I actually think it's a bag. These are also launching with the Raw Collection on Wednesday. I saw a few girls at the event have these and I couldn't wait to get home and get my package. So this is the tote bag that they brought out. I just think it's absolutely perfect for traveling. It has the long strap, but it also has a short strap as well. It has the Honor logo here, but it's like a quilted material. Then you have the zip on top. Sorry guys, I had to move the camera a little because my battery was going. When we go on the inside, let's see what's on the inside. When we open it up, we have a one pocket here. This little guy here. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this is for your keys because look, can you see? I think that connects to your keys, which is, <laughs> if that's for your keys, that is absolutely genius because who throws their keys in their bag and loses it? This guy, this gobshite. So keys, then we have another full pocket here. So this is another pocket. So essentially you have two compartments. Oh, you also have a zip pocket here as well. So you have another full pocket and then, am I right in saying, yes, you have a pocket here at the side for a water bottle. And then you have another pocket here at this side, but this has a drawstring. That's cool. So you have a drawstring on this one. And the next one we have is the wash bag. I've been excited for this one. Oh, wow. So again, this is deep espresso as well. So it's the same color in the large monogram. Monogram? Is that how you say it? Monogram? Wash bag. Oh, is there... Is there two compartments? So this is her here. It obviously has the Honor logo all over it. It has the little handle here. And then we have two zips. So I don't know if it opens up into one big compartment. No, it's two compartments. Oh, and then there's other compartments inside it. Okay. I love shit like this. So first compartment is just one big open compartment. And then when we open this compartment, we have a little compartment and another little compartment. That is, that is a big wash bag. 
that is a big wash bag. If it's actually gonna be like when it's filled out, that's gonna be a big wash bag and you have two different compartments. So I absolutely love that. This is the new socks that they are launching. So it has all different slogans on them. Um, so if you guys have the socks before, you'll know it just ha normally has the um, honor logo on it. But now they say one more rep, reps, rest, repeat. Don't think, just lift. Team strong and raising the bar. So for instance, like that's one of them there, raising the bar. That's one of them there, one more rep. That is the socks. As always, if you use my link to Shop Honor for this collection, I cannot thank you guys enough. The link is gonna be down below. It's also the link in my Instagram, in my bio. Shopping through that link, is not about giving commission, is not about anything of that sort to me. It's about showing the brand that you trust me, that you trust my, I suppose how I talk through the products with you. You trust me that I'm not just gonna say, oh, I love everything because some things I don't love, they don't suit me. And I'm very honest in that. I actually had a girl comment on my TikTok being like, I actually really appreciate the way you just said that those shorts are completely sheer because that I do, I, I will tell you exactly what they look like, feel like, um, if they're sheer, if they're not, because I think there's thousands of products on the website. Out of thousands of products, they're not all gonna suit me. We're all completely different builds, shapes. I'm gonna like different styles. I'm not gonna feel comfortable in things that other people feel so comfortable in. I don't have boobs, other people do. Everyone's gonna feel very comfortable in different things. So for me to just stand here and say, oh, I love this and this and this, it might sound like that because I do love a lot of the stuff, but I'm always gonna be very open and honest. And for you to shop through my link shows the brand that you actually trust what I'm saying. So it genuinely means the world. It also means that I was able to go to an event like I went to on the weekend. And I can't wait for you guys to watch the rest of the YouTube and come along to the event with me. It was just the most incredible day. I had such, such a good time. So yeah. Come along to London with me, come along to the event with me and thank you so much for coming back to YouTube after me taking a long time away from it. I promise I will not take that long next time. Quickly, before we get into the rest of the video, I was editing this video and realised that I recorded a good like 10 minutes of this outfit um, before we went to the airport at like half three in the morning. I got the tripod out, I was recording, um, I recorded like in the airport, I recorded a room tour, um, and then I, after I recorded the room tour, I realized my SD card was full. So I put it onto the laptop, and I think I was just all over the place when we got there, that I just put it into the laptop and I was panicking about having enough storage for the event that I deleted everything off the SD because I was like, oh, I've already made YouTubes on them, don't need them. No, Sarah. You deleted all the footage of the airport and the outfit um, and going to the airport and the room tour. So I deleted that. So I'm going to quickly show you this outfit because this is what I wore to the airport the other day when we were going to London. And then it, it kind of just goes straight into London because I don't have the footage of the airport. So I do apologize about that. As I said, guys, this YouTube is a little bit mi mishmashed. It's a little bit odd. But we'll be back we'll be back to normal after this youtube um i was just finding my feet with youtube again but listen better to put something up than not put up anything at all so this is the raw lounge collection now as i just mentioned i wore this to london so i have washed it and it's just come off the line hence why it is crinkly so this is the cropped minky jumper usually i like getting jumpers and anything that's kind of cozy in a medium but I actually have this in a small and I'm glad I do because it's nice and oversized and it just fits perfect in a small. And when it's cropped, I want it to be cropped. I don't want it to be too oversized. What I love is the minimal logo detailing here. It just says honor, but basically in the same color. So, you know, when you're far away, it, it doesn't have a big logo screaming out at you. Um, it has the cuffed sleeves, which I love. And also this raw hem detailing here. So it just rolls up. Like it's just really, the whole point of this collection is it's raw, it's it's rustic. So then these are the raw lounge oversized shorts. 
They have the drawstring. I have these in a medium, so I get all kind of shorts, oversized shorts. I get regular shorts in a medium. They have pockets. And again, they have that raw hem detailing at the bottom. So it kind of rolls up and it has the logo here, but it's so minimal, you'd barely even see it. So now let's finally get into London. As I said, this is gonna straight away jump into London because I deleted the footage of the airport, going to the airport, room tour. So I'll catch you in London. I don't know if you can actually hear me, but we've just went to the buffet. It's actually fun. Um, I always find that if I'm trying to be relatively healthy, because we are going to obviously get lunch and dinner out, um, that buffets are so handy. So I've just got meats, scrambled egg, beans. I've got three boiled eggs, but I'm going to have one full one, and then two egg whites, fruit, yogurt, and then toast and butter. Right, guys, we are going out for the day. We're going to be two little tourists. I just want to show this. I don't know if that's actually a great angle to show. I can show with the mirror a little bit better. This is the one piece from Honor. It has like a built-in sports bra. And I actually, I like to wear it like almost dressy rather than in the gym. I would wear it to the gym, <clears throat> to be quite honest, because it is that material. But I am going to wear it a little bit more dressier. Um, I mean, we're going out very casual today because the skin is not skinning but i'm not allowed to talk about skin anymore haven't i not no um that's what we actually just said at breakfast there i need to get more oomph back into my youtubes because i feel like well i just stopped youtubing because of my skin and then i just feel like well even this morning i was just like this is the room um so yeah we're gonna more, go more energy more, more passion energy. more passion i actually don't know the words um, <laughs> more passion, more footwork, more, more footwork. footwork. <laughs> yes. Um, so yeah, we go. We have a full itinerary. What's our itinerary? Stop now. Why? Told you we have an itinerary. We're tipping around. No. What's the notes in the van for? Because <laughs> I looked it up on TikTok and there's a full light little circle. So we're going to Covent Garden first, then we're going to Buckingham Palace, then we're walking to Big Ben. We're walking all of this, by the way. I don't know if that's a big walk, but it says it's a big walk. We fancy a few steps though. Uh, big Ben. Then we're going to walk to the London Eye. Mm, don't know if we'll do the London Eye. Then that should take us to about lunchtime. Um, and then we're going to go to, oh, I'm going to butcher this now, Bora, 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 Borough Market. Borough, Borough? Borough Market, yeah. B O R O U G H market, and then we're gonna go across Tower Bridge. Corey in London with us. I actually always get asked about what supplements I travel or how I travel with my supplements. How many times did I get stopped today coming in? Your bag went through four times. <laughs> my bag went through about four bloody times. Um, <laughs> yeah, but it was all this, but like they didn't even check it. Anyway, I bring my creatine. I actually got the berry burst flavour, and it's so bloody good. Um, I take out glutamine as well and then I just have uh, supplements for my skin and everything else um, and then I also brought some vegan protein um, because I might have some oats in the morning I just always bring oats just in case like yes we're away for two days and I want to enjoy it but we've really just come back from a holiday and I haven't been feeling the best so I just kind of want to just eat normal foods even though we did just have a big buffet breakfast but tried to make the best choices that I could um but just because we're out for lunch and dinner today and you know I just wanted to bring them because it might I might just want that before I go tomorrow so yeah that's how I travel with them I literally just put them in my carry-on we are like a magpie on gold when it comes to pastries we literally just stare at all the windows that's one thing I've noticed so far with London there's, uh, so... there's, there's plenty of desserts to go around for everyone in the audience. <laughs> <laughs> there you are now, big tourist. 
mean, I've already seen these before, but Anto hasn't. We honestly feel like the two biggest tourists. So we're walking past this place and I've heard, I've seen on TikTok that this place has, you know, the famous mango pancake. Um, so if they have it, I'm definitely just going to try a bite to try it. Right, we found one. So we're going to... What, what is this? Just try it. You say the big these things now. I only want... I only want like... You don't have to try it though. No, no. Oh. We found the viral... Why do people do that? Do you see people do that on TikTok? Well, you... Yeah, you um, there, found though. the viral mango pancakes. That's her there. I think you'll prefer that than me. I don't like cream. You went for a second lick? Yeah. You a second dipper? Yeah. Double dipper? I'm a double dipper. <laughs> so do you like it? It's not bad. <laughs> Yeah, it's not bad. I do like that actually. We're off for lunch now. Save them cows. Not a fan. No, I... Such a TikTok hype, I think. Oh no, actually, I can see it. They're very nice. No, no, no. You should see people eating this on TikTok. It's like... It's like they haven't eaten in 10 years. So, so soft. Wasn't for me. Out of all the markets and restaurants in London we've gone to Nandis. Yeah. It actually looks really good though. Well, because we live in Spain and we do not have access to Nando's regularly. That's true, that's true. <laughs> so it's acceptable. What do you get? I got chips. four bottles of chicken ties, chips and rice. Never Broccoli, rice. rice and chicken breast. Yum. Hello. Anto's gone down to use the sauna and the pool. Um, so I'm just up in the room and I kind of just wanted to come on for some chats. As you can see, I have spot cream all over my face. Um, not going to get upset, but it's really frustrating me how much my skin <clears throat> is affecting like what I love to do. Just making content and like just being my energized, fun, not caring self is just non-existent at the moment. Like I just found myself all day beyond grateful that I'm here. Beyond grateful that I'm here. But found myself all day walking like through crowds of people being like, is she looking at my skin? You know, are they looking at my skin? It's all I spoke to Anto about, which like I'm then conscious of like pissing other people off. But that's all all I talk about. Um. So yeah, I, can't, I don't know why I'm saying this, but I just feel like I have not, I've been very boring. I suppose at the start of my YouTube and I just don't want people to be like fucking hell she's like in London she's going to like her dream brand event tomorrow and I even just said to Anto there that I was thinking of potentially like telling them I was unwell is ridiculous um that I'm letting something like my skin hold me back from like something that I'm I would I want you know that I've always wanted to go to so yeah it's just really crippling me really really crippling me and it's just getting worse and worse and worse right now i mean it does it does look bad but i have white like um cream on it so the redness isn't as harsh but like today i had to go into the chemist and get our antihistamine for it says skin allergies on it because the pain the stinging the swelling anyone that's going through skin like it just it take it just takes over your life as much as you don't want it to potentially people are looking at this being like Sarah it's not it's just not bad um and like I've really nice glowy skin up here but it uh it's the swelling it's the pain that when I put makeup on it it's all I see so I'm just really hoping it doesn't affect me tomorrow I find myself when I'm talking to people I can come across really rude because they're talking to me and I'm not even listening to them. All I'm thinking is, oh my God, like, 
you know, is it where, like, how many spots do I have? And are they looking at my spots? And, um, because they're really aggressive at the moment, like, really quick at the moment. Like, we literally went out for four hours there. I came back with, like, three massive new whiteheads. Sorry if that sounds disgusting, but anyone that's going through skin issues annoyingly takes over your whole confidence. So, yeah. But we're back in the room now. Not because of my skin. I wouldn't let it completely stop the day. Um, but we're back in the room. It's actually only quarter to five. But we got up at half two. I don't know if you can hear it, but I'm all bunged up as well. Fucking hell. Between my skin and my bunged up, you'd swear I'm not grateful for this amazing weekend. I really am. I actually am trying to just chill um, and relax just until tomorrow because I want to be top, top form. I'm actually doing a workout with a lovely... um another girl on Instagram, Brittany. I'm actually doing a workout with her for some of the community. So that was amazing to be asked to do that. And I'm so excited. I'm very much due my period. So I don't, I don't know why, what has gotten into me at the moment between being anxious that I'm going to be really bloated between lacking self-confidence um, or lacking confidence, my skin getting me down. It's just not like me. It's not like me at all. Maybe I'm really just due my period because I don't cry online. I do not cry online, but I also just wanted to show this because I think Instagram's just so highlighty sometimes. Um, so yeah, the plan of action is that I'm literally just doing a little bit of work while anto has gone, and then um, our plan is I think we're actually going to get room service again, not because oh I don't want to go down to the restaurant my skin. But um, the food is actually the same as the restaurant to the room. So we're thinking of just watching a movie, getting room service. I'm going to get up at about half seven. The event's at 11, but um, affiliates and athletes and stuff have to be there at half nine. So I want to leave at about half eight because it's a 40 minute walk. I'm going to walk instead of getting taxis because the taxis over here are wild. The price of them, but also being in traffic. So I'm going to walk from here, get in some steps as well get a coffee and just get myself together and have a little pep talk that the girls are going to be so lovely tomorrow. They all seem so lovely online that I'm not my skin. I'm who I am. I have my knowledge, my skills. I'm not my skin. But we had such an amazing day. Sorry, I didn't really, I didn't really record much when we were walking around because like when we got to Buckingham Palace, I was like, and I'm just kind of recording Buckingham Palace but like we weren't again I'll be honest I didn't want to take the camera out and talk in front of the camera because it wasn't my safe space and that sounds so weird but like talking in front of the camera I was like is the light going to be shining on it is it going to look swollen is it going to look lumpy um and it's this is all stuff I need to work on because it's really taken over my content my work it's taken over a lot my safe space is recording my reels in my kitchen. That needs to change because I can't let it take over my life. Just before anyone comments, I've had so many lovely messages on Instagram of like lovely ladies, you know, giving advice of what helped them. I'm really trying everything at this stage. I have a very good skincare that so many people have used, like, and Roaccutane haven't worked for them, yet this skincare has. So I am trialing and testing that. So I just need to give that time to work. I have in the past given up dairy, I've given up gluten, I've given up caffeine, I've I've done so much. Um, at the moment I'm doing like really trying to eat as much whole foods as possible. I mean I'm in London now for three days or two days. I'm not going to be eating as whole foods while I'm away. Um, I'm still making the best choices that I can while I'm away and that's just nothing to do with my skin. That's just because after two weeks in America and then coming back and engagement celebrations and then I went out with my parents to celebrate um I really have just not been I've just been maintaining but maintaining the weight gain that I gained on holiday which is absolutely fine um still training still running still eating but just haven't been feeling my best so I'm going into like a little mini deficit little mini deficit just to pull that kind of three four kg that I gained off <coughs> um but yeah, so I'm trying to make the best choices while I'm here in terms of that. But I still know I'll be in a, in a large enough surplus because just eating out with oils, etc. It's, it, it's just inevitable. I'll be in a bit of a surplus, but it's fine. So I actually went to a dermatologist the other day and they said that my next step is Roaccutane. 
Um, being honest, I, I really just want to avoid it for the time being, but I have now come to a point of like, if it's all I think about and it's getting me so down and depressed that potentially Roaccutane isn't going to have as much side effects as it's now having on me now. See, even moving my mouth when I'm talking, it is so painful, so painful that I need painkillers. Um, it's just to even talk, but I really just want to try avoid Roaccutane. I've heard so many success stories, but then I've heard so many stories of it coming back and then so many stories of people just having really poor side effects, which just does scare me. But if that's what it comes to, that's what it comes to. Our wedding is next September. So not that it's about, oh, just having per perfect skin for my wedding, but I would preferably like to be off for Roaccutane and, you know, cleared from that by then. So we'll see. I'm sorry this is a little bit of an interlude of the video, tomorrow i'm back tomorrow is the event tomorrow is fun i'm really excited to bring you guys along i do get stage fright um recording in front of people i don't know but i feel like in that environment everyone's gonna have their camera out so i think it'll be okay i need to get this confidence back because i'm an absolute shell of a human at the moment but it do i'm sure it sounds superficial and i really don't want it to be it's just how i'm feeling and i just said i'd come on for little chats and just be open and honest about why i haven't been youtubing why I haven't been talking on my stories, why I haven't been me. Um, but yeah, no more of that. Really going to try just work on accepting it because yeah, I just love chatting on stories. I love chatting to people. I love recording videos and I just haven't been doing that. Um, so yeah, we're going to work on, work on the confidence around it, but it's definitely easier said than done, especially when it's painful. Very, very grateful to be here this weekend. Extremely grateful to be here this weekend. But tomorrow, my energy is back. She's back. She's back. So we just got room service. I got chicken. It actually looks really good. It's like chicken and corn. Got two broccoli and I got steak. I got some extra salad and chips. Oh my God, this looks so good. Good morning, guys. I am, well, I'm semi ready to go. I haven't got anything on my lips yet um, because I'm just having some breakfast. I literally just, we actually have breakfast in the hotel, but I just couldn't be bothered. I just wanted to grab something before I go because I know there's gonna be a lot of food there. Um, So I just grabbed a yogurt in the shop yesterday and then I put in the vegan protein powder. Honestly, if you can see this, it's literally like icing from a cake and I just have, strawberries um i have my fit on for the day hopefully you can see me i have to have all the lights on because the blind there's not much natural light so this is the aqua blue set i was in a little bit of a panic mode and was actually in bed there um but i was in a little bit of a panic mode when i got these sent to me because i actually got a small and you guys all know that i'm a medium but the small actually fits okay the small actually fits okay. They very kindly told me that they have a medium there for me if I do want to get changed. But the small is, the small is feeling okay. Um, so this is the everyday cross bra in medium. Um, and then that is the back of it. It's absolutely stunning. This color, I just love it. And then I'm gonna run all the way back here so you can fully see. So the regular length small and I normally get long medium. So they were they were harder to get on. Um, usually like my leggings would nearly come up to here, but they look fine. If anything, I probably should be getting a regular. But yeah, I have my long socks on anyway and my Converse. I'm actually holding a workout today. So I probably should have brought runners, but I'll just take my runners off if needs be. Um, so yeah, these are the leggings, they're the effortless leggings, which are the leggings I always, always wear. You were down in the pool yesterday, but I had good chats with YouTube about my skin and we're feeling so much better today. I've done my best to uh, cover it up, not that it needs to be covered if anyone's struggling with their skin, but we had our pep talk this morning. And it's all good. And it's all good. Um, yeah. I had, I think, honestly, I just think yesterday, I think I was just overtired. 
yeah. completely overtired. Um, I've, obviously it is affecting me and I just wanted to show those emotions and speak about it because there's a lot of you guys that write to me on Instagram um, that you're struggling with your skin as well. So it might just be nice to resonate with how someone's feeling because Instagram can be a very fake place. Um, you know, you can just see all the, all the, all the highlights of people. So I'm really, really excited to go today completely changed my whole mindset. I'm so grateful to be in this position to be asked to go today. So I'm I'm really, really excited. I also got this t-shirt. Oversized off-white. So this is in the new, the whole reason we're here is to celebrate the new Raw Lounge collection. But these are the new colorway that has launched as well. So you saw the color, the minky color yesterday of the cropped jumper and the shorts. Um, so this is also in the Raw Lounge collection. So it has like a new a new logo that they've never really done before. And then this is on the back, which is so cool. So to be honest, I don't know what the weather's like, but it is quite early. So I'm probably gonna put on my cropped brown jumper that I had on yesterday um, coming here. So sorry now if anyone thinks that that is dirty, but I only wore it here. and. I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna wear it home tomorrow as well because it's clean. I have not worn it for that long. So I think I'm gonna throw on that jumper just to go in. Um, I'll bring the t-shirt with me. I also have my bag and it's not even because I'm like trying to completely wrap on her, but it's, I'm absolutely obsessed, obsessed. My brother even just ordered one for the gym <coughs> because it's just one of the best gym bags that I've ever had. So yeah, I'm gonna bring you along with me and I am very, very, very excited. So let's get going. Oh, yeah. Hello. Oh, nice, cute, perfect. So this is the Dumbbell Studio. I don't know if you can hear me, but yeah, this is the Dumbbell Studio. They're just putting up the logo. Easy work. 
done. <laughs> she eats them for breakfast. Oh my god. Woo! Go on, girls. Yeah, Go on. Come on. Come on, Seb. Uh, how many? That was 15. I got nine. Yeah, you got nine. Woo, come on, Hannah. 17. Let's go, Hannah. Mum. Don't put the fact that it's Come on, let's come on. Come on. Let's go, let's go, come on. That's let's 20 go, let's bring it. Ah. Come on. How many teams are Come on, come on, come on. Come on, girls. Woo. So we are getting the muscle, what are they called? The muscle tees? Yeah, the go-to muscle tank. We're getting them personalized. So you can either get blue, gray, or orange. And then this is the process here. How cool is that? So whatever color you want to get. And then they have the piercing station over there. There's me. Piercing station over there. And then the tanks here. Like they've honestly thought of absolutely everything. It is so cool. Oh, it's the best. Guys, I'm gonna leave the YouTube here. Yes, my outro is the exact same outfit as my intro because I'm recording them at the same time. I just I just recorded the weekend and then just said I would add in an outro or an intro. As mentioned in the intro, I wasn't gonna leave in that part about my skin and you know getting upset, but that's just how I felt at that moment in time. Um and if you follow me on Instagram, you will have followed kind of my skin journey for the last while um, and know how much it has affected me mentally. So that is the reason as to why I have not been on YouTube. Um, and looking at me now, you might be like, Sarah, what the fuck are you talking about? Um, I do have makeup on to cover it. And I think I get about, th so I, I, I'm, on day two, I'm on day two, three of my period you know the way day one is just kind of spotting and um, so I'm on day two three of my period and when I get my period my face clears up probably get about four days out of the month that it's not too bad and um, like I only woke up this morning with two fresh new spots that to me is a miracle for some people two new spots might be massive for me that's nothing um, and something I'm really happy with but that will only last for a couple of days and um, hopefully touch wood not but you know even I was saying to Anto oh I might look like I'm being really dramatic and he was like well no like I was there when you know you were upset about it and he could see that it was really painful and raw so you know I'm not making it up and um, I do have it covered and uh, not that you need to have it covered but I do have it covered right now and it just it just goes up and down um but yeah I'm just gonna leave that in there because hopefully it re resonates with someone or it just makes someone feel like there's someone else online I find myself um not not loving online when I'm feeling like this because I just find like everything is airbrushed everyone looks incredible online and I start picking myself apart when I um when I'm not feeling myself with my skin um so I don't know maybe my page could be a place where someone else just feels like they can resonate with me um so yeah let me know what you'd like to see down below and thank you so much again for coming and watching my YouTube. As always, if you would like anything, coaching, weight loss, muscle gain, tips, tricks, please go and check out my Instagram. That is where you're gonna find all my coaching, but I will leave all my links below for my app and for my coaching. And then I will also, of course, leave the link down below for Honor if you would like to shop through my link when this launch goes live or any launch if you are watching. Thank you so much again. And as always, if you would like to like and subscribe, it would mean the absolute world to me.